Okay, here we've got two of the 2010 Vintage Collection Wave 1 figures and I've been really bad at collecting these, I've only just got these now so we've got the Cloud Car Pilot on the Empire Strikes Back card and Forlorn on also on the Empire Strikes Back card these both have the classic image from the uh, 1980s so the same picture as what they had back in the day and you can see that the Cloud Car Pilot's been totally revamped and modernised as a Zuckus, I mean Forlorn Obviously, <laughs> I'm a vintage collector, so I, I, I remember them in their old names. So, there you are. Two of the vintage collection figures. So, now, this means I've got these two, plus Darth Vader. And, have I got any more? Well, I've definitely got the Darth Vader. I've shown that. And, oh yeah, the Magna Guard and the Sand Troop. I've got those. So, this is not... And, if you look at the back of the Forlorn it shows you the original card with the figure uh, I've got one on the Jedi card and then you've got the rest in the range you've got the Vader you've got the Han Solo which I've also got I'll show you that next plus the Luke in Bespin which I wanted to get but I didn't get plus a uh, Leia and the C-3PO so I've got all of these well apart from the Han on vintage cards I mean from the 1980s so you know I've got that Luke best bin on a Canadian card that's quite a rare card the Leia Hoff I've got on a Return of the Jedi card and on a Trilogo card and the CPP I've got on a couple of 12 backs not in the best condition but you know ok so these are the vintage figures and that's Forlom excellent figure well articulated and nicely detailed really looks like the image there in the photograph and he comes armed with this really long rifle or machine gun well it's based on the German World War II machine gun but there's four Lom and it's on a replica Empire Strikes Back card and then we've got the Cloud Car Pilot and he's on an Empire Strikes Back card and he's grown a moustache looks pretty similar to the vintage figure a bit more articulated and the helmet looks removable comes with a small pistol and well, the vintage figure came with a pistol plus uh, a little communicator device which is easily lost so there you are cloud car pilot and he's inside his cloud car in the picture and there's the back I've got this on the Empire Strikes Back Kenner card with the revenge offer on the back plus um, I've got on a Jedi card that's the Jedi card ones on YouTube an early video I did so yeah. if you blink you'll miss it so there's cow car pilot. Okay, so I'll put those back. You got cow car and forlom. Have a closer look at them. So you got forlom and twin powered cow car pilot. Both with the Kenner logos at the bottom, just like they had in the back in the day for the US cards and Canadian cards. So they. Okay, here we've got the Han Solo, so this is from the 2010 collection, this is the first wave, it's Han Solo in his Echo Base outfit, and this is the first time this figure's been released, so it's on a vintage style card with the silver foil, and it comes with a welding tool and a welding mask, and it's quite a nice figure I've seen a lot of reviews of this figure and most complaints seem to stem around the jacket that it's not removable so that seems to be people's biggest gripe with this figure but Hasbro or Kenner are trying to do something different so and we've, ne we've never had this really no, I, I know now that you can get the Han on Bespin on a retro type card as well so this is the first time it's been on this card and it's got a nice picture of Harrison Ford there in Hoff on Hoff and you've got the picture on the back so it says first time first issue vintage Han Solo card 2010 and then you've got at the bottom all the other figures in the rave and as I just said earlier when I was reviewing looking at the Cloud Car Pilot I've got the Dengar coming as well I don't know what's happened to that so that should have come with this these four figures uh, you've got
got Lucan Best being Leo Hoff and Fifi Fio. So this is a Wave One figure. And the Wave One ones, most some of them came with the, or most of them came with this foil effect stripe around the card, and you just make them look so much better. So that's your Han Solo in Hoff Echo Base outfit. Nice card. Sorry about the weather lighting, the weather's really bad. It was sunny this morning and now it's gotten all dark and grey. But I want to get this, all this stuff re reviewed. Okay, here we've got the Rebel Command. Okay, so my camera just played up just now, so back to the Rebel Commando. And it's on the Return of the Jedi retro card and it's exactly the same card or very similar to the original card. And there's the figure and this figure is way leaps and bounds ahead of the original figure so he comes with a removable hat with a bald head beard goatee beard which isn't what that guy has in the picture he has a, a camouflage jacket very similar to the han trench coat from 2007 or 2006 it comes with a rifle very similar to the one that came with the original vintage figure and a pistol and a little backpack which is packed underneath the boots and the figure is nicely weathered it looks really nicely detailed so and the card just looks pretty nice glossy so it's a wave free figure so there's the original on the back of the return of the jedi card i've got one of those uh oh i'd like to get one on try logo and then you've got the other figures in that wave. You've got the Wicket, Yoda, Luke, uh, Capture, uh, Roof or Katu, and R2G27 drinks. So these are the two figures, the Han and the Rebel Commando. I think I need to put the light on, it's gotten a bit dark. Okay, so we looked at some 2010 figures and we've looked at some, uh, a couple of vintage cards about the figures. And now we're going to look at a couple of uh, a Saga Legends and the Clone Wars 2 pack. So the Saga Legends figure is the Space Trooper and this is a re-release. got a nice illustration there of the Space Trooper. This is the second version of the Space Trooper. There was one back in the Expanded Universe on Powder Force which I still haven't got that one. Once I've got that one I've got all the Expanded U Universe Powder Force figures. As you can see it's a really good figure. It's really bulked up, muscular, well not muscular but looks very kind of robotic and it's got sort of flaps for flying with in space and a jet pack and comes with a kind of the pistol looks rather small in his hands uh, and he's got sort of robotic looking legs so that's the Space Trooper, excellent figure, Saga Legends and there's a close up of the actual um, what do you call these, Galactic Battle g game card and on the back it has a picture of the figure and uh, a sort of comic book in illustration of the uh, Space Trooper that's from like the old uh, Dark Empire series and then you've got Saga Legends, other figures in the range, Stormtrooper, Battle Droid, Mace and Obi-Wan and I see at the bottom those warnings that that's a new feature there before it had tons of tiny little print so that's your space trooper Let's put that back and next one we're going to look at is the two pack which i got from sainsbury's in the uk it's um half trooper raxa and the battle droid and it's exclusive to sainsbury's in the uk so i'm sure you can get this in america but if you want to get that in england you can get this two pack it's on sale at the moment for 10 pounds the figures the saga legends figures are on sale for about five pounds 30 so there you are and it comes the oh, i got it mainly for this one because he looks wicked sort of camouflaged half trooper in sort of brownish tan camouflage with the helmet looking a bit like a sort of prototype biker scout looks pretty cool it comes with this massive massive gatling gun and the pistol and the battle droid is in red with yellow highlight and comes with a battle droid blaster great artwork on the card so you've got the battle droid and half trooper raxa 
And then on the back, let's see what it says on the back. You've got the two characters, same picture, and the other two you can get. You can get a Special Ops Clone Trooper and Genosin Drone. So hopefully they'll be get even re more reduced, and I'll pick those two up as well. So there you are, the two figures I picked up yesterday.